हेलो टू ऑल माय स्टोरी लवर्स वेलकम बैक इन स्टोरी टाइम चैनल आई एम पल्लवी रीडिंग इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी बुक्स फॉर यू टुडे आई एम रीडिंग चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेंटी वन सलाम नमस्ते फ्रॉम वाइज एंड अदरवाइज बुक लेट्स गो थ्रू इट आई यूज टू बाय बुक्स फॉर द बेंगलोर स्लम स्कूल्स वी सपोर्टेड फ्रॉम शेख Muhammad's tiny shop he had a shop selling stationery near our office and we would buy the books in bulk from him we would pick up the books from the shop and let him know when the check was ready he would then come to the office and collect it once when he came to the office to get his check we were celebrating something and sweets were being handed out to everyone shake was offered some as well he took a couple and put them away carefully in his pocket seeing him do that i asked what's the matter shake why aren't you eating the sweets are you diabetic shake was shy tectirum man and i knew little about him and his family so i was pleasantly surprised to hear his explanation no madam i am going to take them home and give them to the kids they love these sweets how many children do you have i had noticed he had picked up only a couple of pieces i have one daughter but my niece also stays with us so there are two children in the house why does your niece stay with you she is my sister zubeda's daughter she is a widow and both stay with us i realize it must be tough for sheik to manage a fairly large household with only the income from his little shop so i asked does zubeda work yes she is very good teller she and my wife do tellering at home with their income and the money i earn from the shop we get by quite well we are content i was touched by his story content is a word rarely heard these days a few months pass and one day i suddenly got a call from shrek he wanted me to give him his check a few days earlier than usual why shrek is anything the matter i asked yes ma'am we discovered some time back that zubeda is suffering from cancer the operation is tomorrow and we need the money desperately i instructed the check be sent to him immediately but i also realized that it would probably not be enough such operations are expensive and i was sure he was struggling to raise the money yet he had asked me only for what was due to him and nothing more i have learned many lessons in life ever since we started helping people monetarily through the infosys foundation i have seen women hiding their diamond studs in their purses and asking for funds for the poor i have seen well of parents declaring their children orphans and applying for scholarships i even know some men who presented their parents as destitute so they could get help from us i call shake Sheikh tell me have you managed to get all the money you need for the operation i have sold all of zubeda's and my wife's jewelry i have also taken a loan from the bank sheikh why didn't you ask us madam at least i can afford this much you should be helping those who are poorer and cannot even afford this they require your help more than i do 
I was touched. I asked him to get the papers and meet me as quickly as he could. He came the next morning and showed me all the documents. I took a look and handed him a check for 50,000 rupees. Surprised and hesitant, he said, This is a lot of money. I never expected such help to come from the blue. May you be blessed forever. A few days passed and Sheikh sent a message saying the operation had gone well. For a long time after that we did not hear anything from him. Then one day as I walked into the office I found him sitting in the reception. A little girl of about four by his side. She was wearing an ordinary cotton dress decorated with laces and buttons. Her hair, neatly oiled, was pulled up into a ponytail. How are you, Sheikh? I asked him. How is Zubeda? Sheikh's face was lean with grief. Zubeda passed away a fortnight back. In spite of all our efforts and your help, she did not survive. It was Allah's wish. I wanted you to meet her daughter, Tabassum. I look at Tabassum. She was scared and ill at ease in this strange office where people bustle about busily. Just to make her feel comfortable, I offered her some biscuits. She took one and then asked me in a shy voice, Can I take another one for Amina? Amina was her cousin. I smiled and said, Of course. I looked sadly at the girl, orphan so young. Then her uncle said, Betty, Ammi ne bola thana, inko salam karo. Putting down the biscuits, the little girl said in a clear voice, Madam, Ammi ko salam. I was at loss for words. Sheikh wiped his tears and pulled out an envelope from his bag. He handed it to me, saying, this is yours. I am sorry. I am a bit late with this. I open it. There were 3000 rupees in it. I look at Sheikh in confusion. Out of the 50,000 you gave us, we used only 47,000 for Zubeda's treatment. When we came home and she knew she was dying, Zubeda made me promise that I would return the remaining money to you. Don't waste this on me, she said. Tell madam to give it to some other sick person. She had wanted so much to meet you and give you her salam, but Allah took her away. I promised her I could carry out her wish. I sat there in stunned silence. I had never met Zubeda, but the largeness of her heart even on her death left me speechless. In spite of her own pain and poverty, she had thought about someone who might be in greater need of help. Her story was a lesson in compassion. She wanted to thank me and when she knew she would not make it. She sent her daughter. Through the act of sending Tabassum, she was perhaps passing on her positive attitude to the child. I was sure Tabassum would grow up to be a fine human being. I look at the envelope. This is for Tabassum. May Allah be kind to her. Let her study well. If you need any more help for her, let me know. And always tell her about her mother. Our earth is enriched by people like Zubeda. Tabassum sat quietly, her big eyes puzzled. One day she would understand and perhaps emulate her mother's courage. This is the experience shared by Sudhamurti. Do you like this? Then comment it. And subscribe our channel. Bye-bye.